Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft replay. This is going to be the first best of three of 2016. Here on the map Ancient Isles, we have Villa spawning in as the Green Knight of Play in the top left. Uh, showing up for the first time on the channel, I have not casted this guy before, but he's very much in the Tara boat here, as in he's being overshadowed by the the bigger Chinese player names, such as Infi, Yumiko, and Tho, WFZ, and Fly yada yada like so many other players so yeah let's see how this guy will do he will be facing off against also a, a first timer on the channel fate uh, also BM I guess but fate is basically his name that he appears on tournaments so I'm just gonna call him fate until I am proven otherwise or corrected otherwise so yep yeah, there we have it This is still from the Phoenix Cup of last December. Sadly, replays are not that not that common anymore. It's very it's very hard to find them. So I'll just have to make do with the Phoenix Cup, which hasn't let me down so far. Fairly early uh, Temple of Darkness, but we will most likely be anticipating the Death Knight from Fate. Meanwhile, Villa is going to go for a Warden. So finally. We've had so many Night of players for the past couple of weeks, but no Warden play, I believe. I really wanted to see a Warden, especially after Loliet has played like such successful Warden play from the WCA last year. So, yeah, I'm hype, I guess. It is indeed going to be a Death Knight and fourth Ghoul, so this is going to be a Ghoul opening for our Undead player as well. Okay, so definitely like out of the norm already for both sides of course I mean they're both very standard play but uh, it's not like Ted Fiends or Demon Hunter first for Night Elf so yeah that's what I mean basically um, Argue Magi camp is being taken down we'll have to wait and see for the item it hopefully will be a good, I good one for the Warden Circlet or maybe a close attack plus six. It is indeed going to be the claws for the warden, and that is probably a good sign for Villa. So yeah, I looked at this these moonwalls, and surprisingly enough, we have an extra moonwall. I don't know why this kind of delayed the tier two for an out of player. I think, but. Uh, I have no idea what this third moonwall is actually for. Maybe Villa is afraid of getting supply block in the future? Question mark? I don't know. Death Knight uh, started out with his death coil, so he is going to farm it out once again for tier, uh, for level 2 and then get that unholy rune. Probably just go into harassment after that. Tier 2 for our undead player and for our Night of Player as well. So as more ghouls start entering the the world, I guess... Yeah, I guess I could just find... Fi find myself talking about something else. So, I might consider streaming... Uh, I've Since I've, like, went from Fraps to OBS, OBS has been really good for me, and... I don't know, maybe it might make, make up for my horrid internet, but we shall see. Um, I'm not sure how successful live streaming would be. I'm not anticipating much, so so for now I'm just going to try and tweak with a few things and behind the scenes just by myself. Yep. Yeah. Early attack coming in with these ghouls and skeletons here, forcing a cancel on that, on that moon well. And we have the uh, second Moonwall being attacked. I don't think it matters too much for Villa since, I mean, he has no real need for that extra supply. He is just focusing on this Red Dragon camp here. And he might get it, but his base is still being under attack. Wisp trying his best, but it's just not champion enough. Moonwall will fall, and that will be... Well, right now it's supply blocked for our Night Elf player, but... I doubt he will need it. TP scroll will be used as the Warden did manage to kill off the Red Drake, picking up the Sobe Mask for himself. Thwarting the attack of the Undead player, so 
Um, didn't really lose that much. Was able to save the resources of cancelling that one Moonwell, but he did lose that other Moonwell. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Sobe Mask is going to be a pretty important item for the Warden, as it will just enable her to yeah, just go for harassments frequently because of that increased mana regen, as she is going to do right now. Black Citadel has been com has started, so uh, getting that early cancel will be pretty beneficial. The Lich is also halfway there, blink onto the Acolyte, going after Acolyte number one. Meanwhile, uh, Fate once again is going to go for his own counterattack. The Ghouls, probably not enough to deal with the Warden, but... Yeah, they will try their best. The Nerubian Tower is nearly completed as well. Shadow Strike on the Acolyte number 2. Going to the Shadow Melds. Probably waiting for the Shadow Strike cooldown. <coughs> it does seem like Fate is going to withdraw his Death Knight. Able to kill off a third Acolyte for himself. Oh, yikes. The Lich was completed and just barely got the Warden. Actually, the, the most minimum that you could get away with, 1 HP. So, uh... That was dangerous. Yeah, extremely dangerous for the Warden, uh, I guess calculated, but yeah, I guess we'll never know. Uh, that is the dangers that come with the TP staff. You are susceptible to damage and crowd control, but yeah, it was just good enough for the Warden. Going for that level 2 Shadow Strike onto the Ghoul. Just tons of damage on the ghoul, in fact, uh, but return damage from the Frost Nova of the Lich, able to take down the early healer of the Night Elf player. Now it's the Warden's turn to try and lay down to smack down onto the Lich, but yeah, it is pretty dangerous, especially since the Death Knight is nearby with that Death Coil. I believe the, the Warden picked up a ghoul, and yes, she did. Just early bit of experience yet again. Ancient of Laws or at least one of them is completed. Tree of Eternity is on the way. Um, Fate? Not really doing much, actually. He is just going to be running away as the Warden does show herself yet again. <coughs> Pretty interesting that he chose to run away, in fact, because it just turned daytime, so uh, those Moonwells were not going to regen themselves. But maybe he's just being extra careful here. He is going to be going after the Null Overseer camp. Should start seeing some Crypt Beans by now. We do have the Graveyard. Tier 3 is nearly done. The Slaughterhouse is on the way, but no Crypt Beans. It's really weird. I I mean, since the Graveyard is completed, I assume we're going to see some Crypt Beans, but uh, I don't think Ghouls are the way to go for Fate right now, especially against the Warden. That's a big no-no. Um, but I guess Crypt Fiends are a bit of a mixed decision as well against the Warden, but we'll have to wait and see. Cl second close of attack for the Warden, so that's, I mean, that's all, all more power to her because that is going to be a lot more hurt for those Acolytes. Black Citadel is nearing completion, Death Knight just waiting for that Orb of Corruption there. Swordhouse is also completed, so the Obsidian statues are starting to get queued up as well. Lich should... yeah, he should get himself that level 2 fairly soon. Because... Because Fate needs, just needs to catch up with that level... level 1 Warden, level 3 Warden. <clears throat> Very close to level 4 herself. Just walking by, is going to get Nova Coiled there and that wasn't that much damage but yeah it was enough to just force her to run away she's very close to level 4 she will get this with the scholar merchant camp meanwhile fate it seems like he got his third hero I believe it is going to be a dark ranger and it is of course the other option could have been the naga sea witch but against the warden maybe that is just suicide Dark Ranger, good way to shut down the Warden with the silences. Ark of Reincarnation gets picked up by the Death Knight after taking down the Troll Warlord. Uh, I guess it could be useful on the Lich or the Dark Ranger, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's also a, a good bit of gold if you want just the extra oomph. 
Warden has a set of sentry wards from the Goblin Merchant camp and is going to take down this Troll Warlock camp fairly easily as well since the bears are out. Rejuvenate is just such a powerful spell. Healthstone gets picked up. Uh, that Warden is probably not going to die anytime soon because that is a fairly difficult Warden to take care of. The Ankh, I believe, has been sold for just extra bit of gold. The Replenishment Potion gets picked up by the Overseer. So, yeah, that's pretty good. This top right Red Drake camp is now under fire and could give level 5 to the Warden here. But Fate has other ideas. He is going right after this Ancient of Wonders. The Ancient of Laws are producing a couple of bears for themselves. Probably not enough to actually defend the space, but yeah, like, there's no way. There are a couple of destroyers in the air as well, so it's. Those bears probably not going to stand too well of a chance. They are also silenced. Uh, not sure what for, but oh well. I guess they were silenced to prevent them from changing forms and then rejuvenating. But, like, I don't know. I think I would rather let them rejuvenate and then devour the magic of the uh, destroyers, to be fairly honest. But oh well. Maybe being super safe. That was a very dis like hurtful fan of knives from the warden there. Forcing those ghouls to retreat. The, war the ranger is actually pretty low health, and I believe might be the next target. TB scroll is going to be transferred over. Uh, bear number two gets dropped by by fate, and that I have I don't know who actually won that fight. Honestly, like a, a lot of bears got taken down on the night of sight, but I believe we're out of crypt fiends for our undead. So I I guess our undead players on his back foot because he's not looking too good right now. Getting his fourth obsidian statue here. Um, of course I'm counting destroyers as obsidian statues as well. Oh, no dragons. Yeah. Uh, a little unfortunate there. I don't know. We, we're not having any crypt fiends being queued up and the sacrifice spirit is being placed down. I highly doubt the frost storms are coming. Um, it could be a possibility. We'll have to wait and see. It's very difficult to frost storm from a one base, and in particular this scenario where you're just so behind. Frost storms are kind of w old, like more win kind of units. Acolytes are hiding within. Oh yes, the goblin zeppelin. That was my volume mixer. I kind of misclicked there. Warden might be able to take down the last ghoul of this of this base, but nope, she's gonna TP right back home. Just as the undead were retreating. So going after the ghouls, I guess, was pretty good. It does force the last two ghouls with the army to just go back and harvest lumber. Uh, fate is kind of screwed here, I think. The Warden is just getting out of control. She's halfway to level 6. Uh, her wing condition is very nearby with the Avatar of Vengeance. Army is looking like very dominant. We, st we even have the, the four archers that were at the beginning of the game. Like, yikes. I mean, to be fair, a lot of bears died, but at least no archers have died. Expand gets placed down. The skeleton has spotted it. Uh, I don't think it matters too much as the warden has caught the undead at a corner. And we're we gonna have a death coil heal up the destroyer, but will it be enough? TP Squirrel is gonna get channeled, and the undead will retreat with just plain injuries, I guess. Oh, Skeleton vs. Tree of Eternity, and there's that. Uh, I don't I don't like Fate's position right now. He has quite a bit of gold, but he's not actually using any of, much of it. Wouldn't go and grab right those Acolytes with that Fan of Knives. I'm not sure how what level that Fan of Knives are, but it was very close on one-shotting every single one of those Acolytes. Only able to take down the, other, the very first one with the auto-attack. But it's all f it's all good, really. Like, even though you didn't kill all of those acolytes, you just 
prevented your opponent from mining for a couple of seconds. We have about 4,300 gold for Fate and 3,600 gold for Villa. So it's basically a 600 gold difference. That's, you know, that's pretty substantial. That's that's an expansion right here. So yes, indeed, we have an expansion nearing completion. Of course, uh, Fate is aware of it. Can he do something about it? I don't think so. Disease Cloud is on the way, but no Crypt Fiends are being produced. I mean, Fate has to... He's, if he wants to do this, he, he has to get a second slaughterhouse, honestly. Um, he has himself a Temple of the Damned, so the Banshees are coming out, most likely to deal with that Warden. Um, but there's no units to do anything with. Disease Cloud is completed, but we only have one A bomb benefiting from it. Uh, I'm, I don't know. This is not looking too good for our undead player. <coughs> Destroyers are flying around, harassing, I guess, potential wisps. But yeah, there's not that many wisps around. They're pretty spread out on the map. Oh, that is. Master training. So master's training enables possession, I believe. Uh, yeah, possession. We only have one banshee, but if fate manages to mass up those banshees to an, an uncontrollable amount, I mean, he could steal all these bears. But that, that's a very difficult thing to do because Banshees, uh, they have a pretty long channel time. And of course, it's very obvious because as soon as they start channeling, um, like there's a, there's a big shiny orb above them that just literally says, Hey, I'm stealing your units. And the Warden can just go for a blink, Fan of Nice, and just take them down by herself. So it, I don't know. This seems like a very desperate minute move and he is gonna try and go all in with this second temple of the damned is gonna get placed down uh, what I maybe would like to see from fate maybe is a second a bomb or maybe third a bomb as well just just to provide that tanky front line to keep those bears at bay destroyer <laughs> destroyers are having their heyday with that ancient of wonders of course going after probably the easiest of buildings I guess the Moonwells are pretty easy to go after as well, but yeah, the Ancient Wonders is the the least tanky of them all. <clears throat> a bomb has his green bubble on him. Warden unable to actually burst him down. Probably wouldn't have focused him down anyway, since he's just so naturally tanky anyway. Dryads are uh, poking away at that sacrificial pit, but yeah, that sacrificial pit is not a game-winning. Oh, game-winning building. We had sappers. Uh, I okay, sappers works, I guess. Um, that had to be two sappers, and that was pretty Im pretty impressive. Although, to be fair, I guess Villa is so so preoccupied on his main army. I just he didn't notice that. I didn't notice it. Yikes. Okay, uh, we really have sappers actually taking down expansions. Mainly because they kill themselves, but that, yeah, that worked apparently. Maybe Villa is sick of it now, and he's gonna go after this, this army. It's 62 versus 74. Of course, you have to be aware trying to fight on home turf, so it's probably not the smartest of ideas. We have three banshees out. Possibly more could be on the way. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, second meat wagon is a third meat wagon. Wow, uh, fate is going a lot more heavy on the siege, which is surprising. I would have liked uh, more a bombs, but I guess meat wagons are fine in themselves since they do very well against those dryads. Not that I say that, um, fate really seems like he wants to just. He doesn't want to deal with those bears, he just wants to steal those bears. Uh, he's gonna queue up a couple more banshees. Uh, Villa has to realize that this is going to be a thing. I mean, he, his warden has been around 
this location for so long. I mean, this. She has to realize by now. I'm not sure if she can. I'm not sure if uh, Villa has clicked on those banshees to see their master training, but yeah, this is this could be dangerous. Of course, those banshees can easily snipe. Oh, not the banshees. The drives can easily snipe the banshees since uh, they are unarmored. Second temple of damage is being unsummoned, so that that just shows this is a definite all in here. Second a bomb, just like I like it, uh, will be added to the mix here. Gonna add in a final banshee. We also have plus one attack upgrades for those a bombs as well. I don't think the meat wagons. Oh, the meat wagons do indeed use that upgrade. Very nice. Uh, the warden, of course, is still an unkillable monster. I don't think she'll hit level six because I only feel like there's gonna be only one fight. So even if she does hit six, it's most likely gonna be GG from either side. Um, if she hits six, then it's then it's the night off win. But if she doesn't, then it it could very much be other side. Um, how many banshees we have? About six banshees, seven banshees, in fact, and we have seven bears. That's perfect. Eight bears. Okay, not so perfect, but still, this is gonna be pretty pretty whack. Graveyard is being unsummoned. I don't know what else. What else could be trained up. I guess another A-bomb? Maybe another Banshee? I don't know. We are actually supply cap. 80 versus 86. The Warden is going to is going to try and say hi, get silenced and a little bursted there, but she can't really do anything because of those that green bubble. Okay, this might be the biggest skirmish that I've ever seen so far. Uh, blink right at the meat wagons. I'm not sure if that's a wise idea because the Banshee is going right after those bears. We see those three bears being channel with a position. There we go. Three bears are instantly getting purple-fied, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the Banshees are just going after those bears. The Warden is not... She's trying to deal with those meat wagons as best she can. The Dryads aren't... The Dryads aren't even going after the Banshees. They're going after the meat wagons. And the Banshees are just going straight after those bears. Uh, we have so many bears already being possessed. They've been... Look at that purple tag right there. And that was the warden going for a TP scroll. How many bears do we have? We have, we have five bears. Of course, that's not mentioning the bears that were killed off already as well. That was disastrous for, for Villa. What's he got left? He has three bears and his warden. All his dryads are dead. He's gonna blink right to the last meat wagon. Uh, meat wagon is just. I don't know if the meat wagons are the MVP or not because they're just. They just drawn the attention of the Dryads and the Warden herself, but it could very well be the Banshees as well. Another Phantom Knives, definitely not that great of an ability anymore because of the green shell. The Warden, she does have the Invulnerable Potion, she will use the Moonwell Juice as much as possible, and GG for our Night Elf player. That was disastrous. Wow. Fate, who has been down, like, the majority of the game just completely 180s it. I'm very surprised that the score is this because he's been down for so so much of the game. Uh, apparently both players had 90 food supply at some point, but wow, uh, what a what a start to the series. Hopefully, you guys, you enjoyed this. I will see you guys in game two.